One of the lesser known subgenres in the racing and platforming gaming world is the hill climber. This sees you take on 2D vehicles trying to get from A to B on usually a very hilly and bumpy obstacle course. The idea being that you're able to control the weight distribution of your vehicle as you fly around all of these different bumps and hills to try and keep going, keep momentum and get further and further. You start out with a vehicle that doesn't have the capability of reaching the end though, and through this rinse repeat of repeated runs, you'll gain currency as you go through the levels, therefore being able to update your vehicle and upgrade it so that you can then get further and further with this drip feed of satisfaction of getting further and better each time you drive. Fantasia Furry Road is the latest example of the genre, and although it's not quite my favourite, that goes to a game called Snuggle Truck if anyone's interested, oh yes. Um, Fantasia actually is one of the best games in this genre that I've played for quite some time and it does a lot of things right. There's a few things that I kind of go mm, on but they're few and far between and what's great about this is that it doesn't have so many weird gating issues that this genre is always plagued with. In the game itself you have uh, about 10 or 11 different tracks. I love the art style. It's made by an Italian artist apparently called Emmanuel Olives who was inspired by Adventure Time. And you can kind of see that because it's like Adventure Time psychedelic trash panda. <laughs> and combined with the, um, what I'm going to say is 90s Daft Punk Funktronica soundtrack that's going on in the background, uh, Fantasia really sells its style perfectly. And it might look loud on the screen, but it is a little party atmosphere going on in your head and I really appreciate that. But each of these tracks have very different um, obstacles for you to overcome. So you've got the usual hills and the bumpiness that's going on, but you also have ramps, multiple paths, uh, geysers. In the zombie graveyard level, there's zombies coming around chasing you that you'll have to smash out the way, but then their bodies become debris that you have to try and drive over. There's a volcano one where there's like proper lava bombs coming down the hill at you that you have to smash out the way. And then in some of the other levels, it comes down to the type of vehicle that you've got as well. Because the other great thing about Fantasia is that there's 40 vehicles to try out and unlock. But they're specific to the level that you find them in. And some of them have got two wheels, some of them have got four. Some are longer and shorter, which then means that you've got to clear jumps in a very specific way. But then some of them have the weight distribution more to the front or to the middle or to the rear, depending on where the driver is sitting. And what that does is it means that each one handles very differently. So for example, there's one where it's like a, uh, a sleigh, but the back of the sled is a wheel. It's really, really light, but it also tips up really, really quickly because all of the weight is on this ginormous metal wheel at the back and the sled is just like some skis with some wood on. <laughs> so you can spin around and end up upside down and killing yourself quite quick, uh, quickly with that. On the flip side, there's this other one where it's got four like tank wheels. And instead of having jumps, it's got steps in the level. And so you would tackle the weight distribution by moving the left analog stick around very differently for that compared to the sleigh, compared to a really long like log flume car to the ginormous like ice cream truck that's going around. They all handle differently and their levels take that into account and offer different challenges, which is what I really, really like. You can also take this game online through uh, what's called like a season cup mode and so it will drop in three parts of three of the levels and then you go in with um, what I believe is the car that you've upgraded to at that point and then you race against two other ghosts at that time but against like a online leaderboard for everyone looking for the best time across those three levels like a cup. That was quite fun as well and it was really interesting to see how different people tackle that weight distribution and I could see where I was losing out against other people because sometimes I was charging full in on full throttle when actually I should be coasting off a little bit. I generally try to not coast off a little bit because the other thing that's going on throughout all of this game is that you have a battery that's constantly depleting and when the battery hits zero you explode and that's kind of the big gating thing for this game is that if you aren't powerful enough to get up the hills quickly then you'll run out of battery power and you'll explode. Also you'll come across jumps that you can't clear and things like that. And this is normally the most egregious level design problems in these types of hill climber games in general. 
But with Fantasia it was much less of a problem because actually the levels were pitched in a way that if you used the weight distribution well enough, you only need to upgrade your car to about half maybe of the actual upgrades that you can get and you can still reach the end of the level which gives an extra bit of satisfaction. You can also go cooperative in local multiplayer too. The last thing I wanted to talk about with this game is the only thing that kind of made me go hmm but it's one of the biggest selling points and it's the boss battles that take place at the end of each level. Once you've finally been able to get to the end of a level you're attacked by like a trash monster and they're all various different forms and guises but they largely form as monster on the top of the screen raining chaos down on you or monster chasing you across from the left hand side of the screen. And what the issue that I have with this is that you don't know what the road is that's coming up ahead of you. It feels like it's slightly procedurally generated, but what you're needing to do is to still keep going fast enough so that you reach the next battery pack before you expire and explode. But you need to avoid all of the different enemy attacks that are going on too. And those enemy attacks and the obstacles in the road sometimes don't line up very nicely in the same way how you can't always collect the power-ups to make a bounce jump um, don't line up very nicely with when an attack is taking place and what you're also having to do in these boss battles is collect a power-up to make like a eco-friendly rainbow attack on the monster again these don't line up very well with where you are in the level and so it just feels a little bit chaotic for the wrong reason at times even though I quite like the idea of it, I just feel like it needs a tiny bit more balancing, I think is probably what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's not by any means a deal breaker, but sometimes I was like, there is nothing I could have done to have avoided some of the situations that I've got. And so I've ended up going away, playing the level, upgrading my car. And then sometimes things hit slightly different in a slightly different order, but then you'll catch the same problem maybe later on in the boss battle. So it's a little bit finickety. Overall though, I have had a great blast playing Fantasia. Um, glad I bought it on release. It was uh, with a significant discount actually on launch as well. So 40% off. Uh, until the 6th of October, so I strongly recommend picking it up at that price rather than full. Written review will be over on higherplanegames.com. Take care! Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.